Hello, I'm Liam Smith. I'm a professor of epidemiology at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Epidemiology is all about the distribution and determinants of disease in populations. It really can be summed up with the question, why are some people healthy and others not? It's the fundamental science underlying efforts to improve the health of populations. And the training, the master's training in epidemiology is all about bringing scientific rigor and clarity to this crucial question. What should we be doing to improve health and reduce disease? I can talk about a specific example, which is about non-communicable diseases in low-income settings. And by non-communicable diseases, I'm talking about things like heart disease, stroke, diabetes, some of the cancers. These have emerged as major health threats in recent years. And the key question is what can and should we be doing? Now, we're t in the West, we're quite used to taking for granted that we have lots of data and information about how much diseases are around, what the risk factors are. But in low-income settings, we just don't have that kind of information. So the first task is really working out what, what the diseases are, where they're happening, what their risk factors are, whether healthcare is sufficient and covering the needs of people, and what the opportunities are for preventing these diseases. The next important question is why are these diseases emerging? If we're going to tackle these diseases, we need to know what's causing them in the first place and what's driving the increases we're seeing. And we know that some processes, such as urbanisation, where people are moving from the countryside into cities, are important. We know that our success in tackling infectious diseases in the past is important. And we've got issues like the ageing population and people taking on more Western lifestyles. This is quite a complex area because what we're really talking about is are the causes of diseases in these settings, in these low-income settings, are they the same as we see in the West? Are the relative importance of the different causes the same? And indeed, we're talking about a concept called the causes of the causes, where if we see an increase in smoking, for example, what we're interested in is what's driving that. What is it that's making people take up smoking? What should we be doing about these emerging diseases? What should we be doing at the different levels, at policy levels, at local levels? What should health services be doing? And indeed, what should individuals be doing? And a key aspect of this work is developing evaluation and evaluating interventions. So what works and what doesn't? In low-income settings where resources are at a premium, we really need to make sure that anything we put in place is going to have a good effect. A key part of this is developing capacity and training. And training in epidemiology, particularly of people from low-income settings, is an important part of our work. One of the things about epidemiology is it's constantly moving field and we're taking on whole new areas. And I'll give the example of genetics. We've seen an explosion in the knowledge of genetics in the West and what we're not sure about is how much of this knowledge applies to low-income settings and how useful it can be. And this is a major challenge for the future. Epidemiology is the fundamental science underpinning our efforts to improve the health of populations. It's an exciting field, a fast-moving field, and an area where trained people can make a real contribution to improving world health.